Right, hello from a sunny Armadale here in West Lothian. I'm here for the South Challenge Cup, a third round tie between Armadale Thistle and Albion Rovers. I'm not doing a tour of the ground because I was here before, I'll put the link up at the end of the game. Uh, it's, it's a good ground though, it's got a good uh, covered enclosure there. Yeah, Armadale are in the uh, second division of the East of Scotland League, they're uh, second top. They're now, they got promoted by Bonus Athletic and uh, Albion Rovers are in the Lowland League. So there's a couple of tiers difference between the teams, but Armadale have got home advantage. Right, there's obviously pressure to be, but not the same sort of pressure because uh, you're probably not expected to win. But the guys will be up for it, wouldn't they? Uh, it's a young side. If, if there'll be nerves, but you turn the nerves into and, and that pressure into, into, a, into a positive. We've not got anything here to lose. Uh, it's a good occasion for boys that maybe haven't played as high as this. Uh, this, yeah. this sort of uh, this sort of cup tie. Uh, we've done a wee bit of name. They're a young side as well, so it's, it's, it's going to be a good challenge for us. A good, good crowd here today as well. That might lift them a wee bit. Yeah, Aye, definitely. I mean, Armadale's renowned for having a good crowd. Here. I've been here five, six years involved with the club, and they've always had a good crowd, and they're growing. Um, my understanding is um, Albion's the same, yeah. um, so uh, it makes for a good atmosphere and a, a nice wee tight pitch. Uh, this close to the pitch, so uh, good, good, good occasion. Thank you very much. Sort of pressure on you, um, which are thriving on you, because you expected to win. Well, I would hope so. Uh, I don't ever call playing football pressure. Pressure, football is the best game in the world. Pressure is a different scenario altogether. But it's a great day in Armadale today. We're all looking forward to the game and hopefully we will. Yeah, you brought a big support along as well, which I'm sure the, the team will appreciate. Yeah, the, the air supporters are really good to be fair. They didn't have a good season last season, but we're trying to make that up this season and hopefully we can go in a cup run as well. Thank you very much, Andy. Good morning, Bill. Hi, Tony. I met you uh, with the playoffs here. Aye, the Spartans he was on. Aye, uh, well, no talking about that. But what's your role in the club again? I'm a child protection officer for Albion Rovers, so it's just about making uh, the club uh, safety wise for ch children and making a safe place for children to come along and watch Rovers and get involved in the club. Yeah, and you enjoy that role, yeah? Oh, absolutely. It's, it's a great wee club as well, and it uh, gives the club a and myself a bit of a purpose to do our role for real people in yeah. Cobridge. You brought along a good support today as well, um, but you're expected to win, so there'll yeah. be a bit more pressure on, there on is. the team. We've had a good support all season, uh, the fans have really backed us as well during the season, uh, so far this season, yeah. and uh, there's a real togetherness uh, amongst the fans base to try and get us back where we want to be. Uh, yeah. the next couple of seasons. Okay, thanks very much, Tony. No there you go, that's kick off. Oh, no, that's kick off. Yeah. They got the first corner of the game and they've had about three chances maybe. That'll be no more sudden to have a shot of goal yet. Thank you. 
Det var god høy dag. Ja. Fuck, you can't see it. Ja, det var god fast. Oh, 
Three and a half time, but uh, Armadale Thistle were the, the team that came out all guns blazing. They had about uh, three chances at the first corner of the game, but eventually Albion Rovers, they never even had a sniff of goal at that spell. But eventually Albion Rovers, uh, the patience built up and uh, cause they, they got three goals, so ah, three and a half time. <laughs> uh, some old turnstiles there. Yeah, the old turnstiles. <laughs> But you know, I first met you at the players, but we'll not discuss that today. I know, no. I know. But uh, it's good seeing you again, and you've brought along a good support as well. What do you think of the half time? You have. Well, I've got over a post traumatic stress after the, the Spartans game, and um, we're now in the Lowland League. Yeah. And um, we're playing Armadale today, and it's a good performance. The boys yes. are 3 0 up half time, just hit the post. So, yeah, I'm thrilled with the way things are looking. Like the stadium, we've been made very welcome. Yeah, so, it's, um, it's a good ground, it looks a good pitch as well. I was I was quite impressed at the way you absorbed that pressure. They just sort of slowly came into the game. Not, not, not slowly, but you know, just eventually came into the game. So, it, it's a good performance. Definitely, it was a slow start, but um, yeah, we've certainly come into it at the end. And um, I don't know, maybe I dare to be optimistic, but maybe we'll be seeing more goals in the second half. The boy on the left backs, the oh, one from Airdrie, oh, no. the number 22. 22 yeah. um, and he looks really good. Yes. He looks, oh, I'm very impressed with him. Um, our strikers are playing well as well. Yeah. Uh, Prince is playing well. And um, yeah, good, good so That's far. good. Right, Ian, thank you. Ah, there's a poster from 1921 when Armadale FC played Armadale Rovers FC. <laughs> right, just looking at some of the photos on the wall and look for some players there. Like Colin Steen, he played for Armadale Thistle, season 64-65. And Joe Baker, he played for Armadale Thistle before he went to Hibernia and Torino Arsenal North Force. And of course, England. <laughs> International shot, Scottish Junior, Scotland. So tell me, that's uh, the shot that Colin Steen wore. And he scored the four goals against Cyprus. He scored the four goals against Cyprus, brilliant. Another uh, goalie, uh, Ugolini, he plays for Mizzle, Middlesbrough. Well, Celtic, Middlesbrough, Exxon and Dungeon and uh, so there's a statue in uh, Middlesbrough of him. So some amazing players in history of Armadale here. Right, that's the second half underway. Maybe I'm going to go back to where I was. Hi, Mr. Kickoff there goes uh, thanks to the guys at uh, Armadale Thistle and invited me in for a cup of tea.
Hey Colin, you'll be disappointed with the result, of course, but the guy's battled hard, didn't he? I said before the game, it's, we've got young sides and experience, but it's a good group. Um, no, it was a big task, but yeah, they're, they're a quality side. A quality side is clinical as well, which showed that today. And yeah. The second half, they played a lot more, uh, well, a lot more control. Um, didn't, they, didn't, they, didn't they pressure us too much, I don't think. I think defensively, we've done to a man, I think we were outstanding for for the forward players, um, right back to the goalie, but the difference in quality was there. Um, they're, they're obviously a, a higher level, um, but they'll do well. Sandy's got a really good side there. Uh, he's made a lot of changes, and uh, yeah, um, you could see the, the, the gap between the teams today. But listen, we we just we we'll, uh, we'll lick our wins. I'll not be for long. Um, this this is near bread and butter. Our bread and butter is the league business. We're looking for to charge on again this season and, and go up the leagues again. So um, we'll be on train Tuesday, Thursday, and we'll go again Saturday. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. Hi, right. Sandy. What what impressed me the day? You know, congratulations on, on, on a fine victory. Was the way that the was Armadale started very yep. strongly. Yep. But you managed to weather that storm and just sort of come into the game. Maybe not slowly, but just eventually. Yeah. And it was sort of patience, that's yeah. what I mean. Yeah, that's a fair description. You know, you know, Armadale are playing at home in a cup tie and you expect a bit of spirit and a bit of enthusiasm, the crowd getting behind them. And, and that's exactly what happened. So we knew we had to kind of win the battle first before we get the right to kind of pass the ball and play football. And uh, well, it was a good start for Armadale. We kind of coped with it fairly well. Uh, and once we got into flow and got the first goal, I thought we, you know, kind of played well after that and controlled the game well. And I thought in the second half, like, again, Armadale were going to start out of the box quickly but you managed to sort of uh, boss that if I mean you yeah. won that battle yeah you know I'm saying the lads at half time we've got a game uh, Tuesday night as well so you're trying to kind of manage both games when you've got you know a squad of part time players so you know uh, well, half time the kind of uh, the kind of challenge was to go and manage the game, make sure we don't put ourselves under any pressure, keep the ball, work, work hard at the right times, get the tempo up at the right times and try and get the next goal. And we managed to do that and, and finish the game well. Fantastic. Right, Sandy, I have to ask you, as a jambo myself, what was the best goal you ever scored when you played for Hearts? I, I scored quite a few against them, so we'll take every single one of them. I love playing against them and love scoring That's against them. That's the right answer. <laughs> well done. Thanks very much, Sandy. Good man. Well, there you go. Well, a big thank you to Sandy Clark for taking time out to speak to me and also Colin Leeper, the assistant manager of uh, Armadale Fist. Obviously, being the manager as well. A big thank you to all the officials at Armadale. They're a very warm welcome. And uh, I didn't even know their names. Uh, one of them was Gary. So thanks, Gary. And please pass on thanks to all the other officials. I mean, I, you know, at the end of the day, Albion Overs uh, deserved their victory, but uh, they, were, they were more clinical in front of goal. And uh, if I remember the had got a wee uh, goal, maybe their half chances he had early on, uh, when they were on top for the first 10 minutes, then it could have been a, a different game. But it wasn't that Armadale Fistle played badly, it was just that they were up against a good team. And so well done, Albion Overs. Uh, I was quite impressed with their play. And it was great catching up with some Albion Overs fans that had, uh, saw at the, the playoffs uh, against Spartans here. Uh, it was fantastic. It's been, it's been a lot of Armadale fans as well. So. A uh, great uh, time here at Armadale at uh, Volunteer Park. Thanks for watching and of course until the next time, I'll see you behind the goals.